Now, question of the day, our motto determine equivalent resistance between A and B. So, how can we determine? If that point is A, that point is also A. Why? Because of both are same potential. This one, assume this is ideal wire and that one is also ideal wire. So, that point is also B, that point is also B. If this one is A, so that is also A. Okay, now, and that point is C. Clear? Now, A to C, here a to c a to c both are parallel otherwise you can redraw the circuit okay look here a point and that point is b okay after that this one that point is c now a to c a to c that is how much 5 ohm a to c 20 ohm that is how much 20 ohm clear after that c to b c to b how much 2 ohm so written 2 ohm after that a to b that is how much 3 ohm so a to b that is how much 3 ohm written here that is 3 ohm clear now next target how can determine look here these two are parallel so, combination of these two, 20 into 5 divided by how much? 5 plus 25 and that is 100 by 25, that is 4 ohm. So, basically that is 4 ohm. 4 ohm and 2 ohm, both are series. These two are in series. Okay. So, combination of these two, how much? 6 ohm. 6 ohm and 3 ohm, both these two, 6 and 3, both are parallel. So, you can say that 6 into 3 divided by 6 plus 3, that is 9. So, 3, this is 2 ohm. So, R of AB, R of AB is how much 2 ohm? The final answer is how much? 2 ohm is the right answer. Clear? Make it.